Today, we've got something pretty special. Let's do it. Hello and welcome back to the channel and yes, today I'm taking a look at a pretty special bottle of Irish whiskey, Jameson 18 year old. Now I was lucky enough to pick this up a few years back at an incredibly low price and I've been keeping an eye on the price ever since and it's kind of rocketed and dropped back down and been a little bit all over the place but right here right now I reckon the eagle eyed among you can probably pick this up for about 150 quid a bottle which is still very very expensive but well it was well over 200 at one point in the last few years so maybe not as bad as it could have been. I paid a lot less for this thankfully and well we're going to thankfully later on once we do a review i have already tried this now if i just remove this lovely cover you will notice that this is not an unopened bottle i did open this just a few days ago for a particularly special event and it seemed like the right thing to use now i have had it to say for a while and i paid a lot less than uh, it's ever been at msrp but uh yeah jameson's 18 and the biggest red flag out the bat about this bottle is that it's still 40%, which to the average viewer is fine, but to the whiskey connoisseur, yeah, that might be just a little bit of a sticking point. So what do you get? Well, it comes in this lovely wooden box that has got loads of stuff on it. It's all kind of uh, engraved and so on. Nice plaque on the front there. Every bit of this box has got something on it, I think, except for the underneath. But uh, yeah, it's a really nice, looking thing and very nice display piece it'd be a very nice present nice gift for someone um but as i say they've got to like irish whiskey i reckon for that price and say it's only 40 percent that is a bit tricky the good news is though if you are really into it and don't want to spend quite so much the lower priced specs of this as in the 140 150 quid bottles you can get without this um, so this takes it well and truly over the mark. It's very nice to have, it's a great display piece, I'll probably never throw this away, you could store things in it, I don't know what. Um, but yeah, it's probably taking up quite a bit of the price of this thing. The bottle itself, it's not very Jameson, it's a clear bottle, it's got these nice grooves on the outside, you see that kind of old school decanter. Another bottle that would make a fantastic infinity bottle once it's done. Um, nice Jameson labelling, it looks fancy enough but yeah, that 40% ABV is just a little bit of an issue. Before I crack it open, we'll have a quick read of the back of here. And it says, Perfected over generations, a true original Jameson 18 year is skillfully balanced whiskey reflecting generations of expertise in the Jameson family. 18 years in selected bourbon and sherry casts are rounded off with a final finish in first still bourbon barrels under the watchful eyes of our head blender, Billy Layton. So, the difference between this and the regular supermarket budget Jameson is firstly that it's aged for those longer. There's no age statement on the regular. Some people think it's six to eight years, so kind of in the region of at least 10 years older, if that's true. But this is also entered into another finishing barrel, that first fill bourbon, which of course isn't really first filled. It's had bourbon in it, but the first fill since it had bourbon in it um, at the end, which the original one doesn't have. Uh, it goes on to say the reward is a mellow complex and revealing a story of wood spice and subtle toffee our history may go back over 230 years but you only need to go back to the last 18 to sip on perfection which is quite an acclaim that quite a high acclaim now it's a nice big brash expensive irish whiskey uh, but it's a blend it's a unique blend of three signature distillates matured in our finest oak barrels for a minimum of 18 years so what does that mean? Well, it's not a single pot still. Uh, we can assume there's some single pot still in it, just some regular distilled single malt and probably some grain whiskey as well, probably, but it's all a guess because it's just three distillates that make up and it's still a whiskey. So yeah, you can do the math on what that might mean. And anyway, let's give it a go, shall we? We have already looked at the bottle. So I must say, I opened this and shared a few drams out of it but most of well maybe not most but a significant amount of what's gone out of this bottle 
was not drank because it spilt everywhere. The, the spout on this is useless for actually getting it into a glass, or at least it was when I was using it. I, I dropped the bottle, the glass, I, honestly. I had a right mare, anyway. Went a bit better today, didn't spill it everywhere. It's hard to pour a little bit. Right then, in the glass, super good clarity on that. Proper, nice, light golden hue. Not quite as dark as I might have expected for an 18 year old, especially given the addition of that bourbon final fill, but it looks decent. It looks quite dark in the bottle, but yeah, in the glass, very much, I'd say, average on the, <laughs> on the color hues there. Uh, aroma wise, it's definitely more complex than regular Jameson. Like, it actually smells really good, but it has still got a bit of a, what's a citric cum antiseptic TCP kind of edge on it. It's quite clean. Very clean, I think, is the way to go. But there's heaps of other notes in there as well. Berry fruit, slightly creamy. Pear is the other thing that's coming to mind. But what is, well, definitely missing from the regular Jameson that you normally get, and in a lot of other Irish whiskey as well, is quite a kind of sweet, short, bready, biscuity kind of vibe. And that's really not there. It's not I'm going to say immediately Irish, because it's not all single pot still, not the regular one is anyway, of course, but it has not got maybe as much signature Irish flair as, say, anything from the Red Breast range, the regular Jameson, any of the other variants, really. Um, I couldn't put my nose in here and say immediately that it was Irish, but at the same time, I'm not really sure where... I would think it was from. It's not scotch leaning, it's got a bit of a bourbon flair as a result obviously, but it's not quite rich or oaky enough. There are some subtle woody notes in there, but really not that rich, especially to say how long it's been in the barrel. But anyway, let's give it a go. Cheers. The overwhelming sensation when trying this for the first time, and it's happened again just now as it did a few days ago when I first tried it ever, is you're expecting this big, rich, lush, aged, decadent, super special thing. And the flavours in it are very nice. Don't get me wrong. It is a beautiful drop. Very drinkable. But the thing that hits you is how thin it is. Now, it does get legs on the glass, but they wash away pretty quickly. I mean, can you see on there? There's a few bits remaining, but it's not properly thick sticking to it. Part of it is because it's down at 40% 80 proof. Like that watering down has diminished it, but it just feels so, well, watery on the palate. There's nice bits of heat in there, beautiful flavor notes, which we'll get into in a second, but I can't help but think how much better this would be at five, 10, 20% more. Like 20 is probably gonna be overkill. It's gonna be very expensive then, but I think just 5% would have really, yeah, knocked this up a little bit. So anyway. It is what it is, and they've done what they've done. Um, I have seen this described as the thing you want to get someone who kind of likes whiskey, they know they like Jameson, they want a, the idea of something nice and big and rich, um, but ultimately don't want to scare their palate. Yeah, that's probably not wrong. It's beautiful, it's delicate, it's light, it's annoyingly brilliant even for something with what is quite a big flaw at an expensive 18 year old whiskey but anyway let's get into it flavor profile time so right on the tip of the tongue it's kind of honeyed fruity kind of lemon orange jam marmalade all those kind of things like it's nice it's sweet but it's got a few spiky tones to it basically then on the mid palate softens out Go slightly creamy. You're expecting vanilla. It's like, it's where that big vanilla hit will come in a really vanilla rich bourbon. And it never quite gets there. It just stays as kind of this nice soft cream. It's, to be honest, an absolutely pleasant experience, but you're expecting just a bit more, a bit more all the time. Then onto the back of the tongue. A few chocolatey notes, bit of cola maybe, lemon iced tea, dare I say. Quite sporadic with the flavors like there's a lot of different things going on there but they're all soft they're all subtle they're all pretty low down interestingly to say that it's 40 percent i'm sat here sipping it it feels a little hot like not wild of course but hotter than it should be for the proof anyway then onto the aftertaste bit of heat sweet it's reminding me of kind of brewer's sugar kind you know candied or candied fruits there is this kind of 
citrusy menthol-y finish to it. It's not proper strong menthol, don't get me wrong. It's like, you know when you have like a lemon cough sweet and it's just kind of, it's clearing the airways, it feels like that menthol experience, but you're never getting the true flavor a little bit like that. I mean, I'm a bit perplexed with this because it's delicious, right? It is infinitely better than the regular Jameson, but it doesn't feel looks enough for the price and the fact it's 18 years old it just doesn't i know irish whiskey is more delicate it's softer don't come at me in the comments but for that price it's not what i'm going to go for especially when you consider you can get a barrel strength red breast for quite a bit less now yes it's not aged 18 years but i dare say it's a better dram and one day we'll get a bottle and put them head to head to find out but uh yeah it's lovely and as i said before if you know someone who would appreciate a fine bottle but doesn't necessarily enjoy complex whiskey all the time to make the most of something like a barrel proof red breast it's really not a bad shout there are loads of people who would really like that like if you've got the occasional whiskey fan yeah absolutely would do them an absolute treat but for the more seasoned sipper i think they'll come away like i do i love it i think it tastes brilliant but i just wanted more from it and i wouldn't be paying the rrp on it just before we wrap this up though please let me know in the comments which other bottles you'd like to see me pitch against this one whether it's the regular red breast the barrel strength red breast like we already discussed some other jameson varieties let me know please because yeah i'd be more than happy to do so because i think it will be very interesting and it might start to show us that actually this is a lot better than maybe we thought but there's something about that texture that consistency that mouthfeel that's just yeah not quite there and that really is all i've got to say about it so as always thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video please like it if you haven't already subscribed if you will be so kind and i'll catch you next time cheers